Tonight, Call 6 Investigates is working for you and getting results. Call 6 Investigates discovered that several of the emergency call boxes along one trail in Indianapolis don't work. Those are the boxes meant to help get you help quickly in an emergency. Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubell took those concerns to the city about the boxes along the White River Trail. You've likely seen them, but never needed to use them. I work, I work the dogs really late yeah. at night, like 8.30, night when the sun comes down. Those emergency call boxes and flashing blue lights serve as an extra layer of protection if you needed help. But I always thought I work. There's 13 of these boxes along the White River Trail from New York Street to 10th Street on the near west side. But Call 6 Investigates is learning that more than half of those call boxes don't work at all. When we first started asking questions about them, the city didn't even know they owned most of the boxes. It was after this prank 911 call from one of those call boxes where we finally learned who actually owns the boxes. 911, what is the location of your emergency? Oh, Hello. My sister's in the water. Help. I am to be advised they believed it came from the city of Indianapolis, some type of a call box. When we took that to the city, they found that they actually do own nine of the 13 boxes. We are not exactly sure of kind of the origin of them. We know that they have been here for a while, um, you know, kind of at least since the two, early, early 2000s. I'm Call 6 Investigates, Paris Lubell. After Call 6 started asking about these, Indy Parks tells us they are getting the broken call boxes fixed. It's going to cost about $2,000 to get them back online. They tell us they will be testing them weekly from this point forward to make sure they work.